So I was pretty pleased with how this question was answered in general. First of all, average speed. Whenever you're working with a, a graph to represent motion, just check what kind of graph is it. This is a distance time graph. So the slope is the speed, the steeper it is, the faster it's going. If it's horizontal, it means it's stopped. So it's average speed for the total journey. So that's from zero meters to a thousand meters. So in the equation sheet, you've got the equation average speed equals total distance by total time. Okay, so that's an average. It's a thousand meters by 800 seconds. Uh, it's 1.25 and the unit is there. Okay, mark for the correct substitution, mark for the answer. Next part. Graph to calculate speed in part C. So we're not interested in anything apart from this little section here. And the way you work that out is by working out the gradient. So how tall is it, this little section? Okay, in this section he's done 500 meters. And he's done that in 100, 250 seconds. So, same equation, speed is distance over time, which is 500 divided by 250 is answer in this section is 2. Now, I'll just say that if um, you've read it off, it's difficult to read it exactly as 250 off the graph. It might be slightly inaccurate there, in which case anything from 1.9 to 2.1 meters per second was acceptable for this answer for two marks.